Hello again everybody, in this uh, video I'm just going to give you a few ideas um, with Home Assistant and the Solux integration of uh, how you could add things or lay out things in uh, cards in the on the dashboard. If you've been following my series up to now, we've done the PowerFlow card, we've done Octopus Rates card, um, but we haven't really looked at anything to do with what's built in uh, to Home Assistant. Um, so it's all about your design, how you would like it to look, and creating your own dashboard that you like to use. And uh, it isn't the same for everybody. Um, I've created mine, some people love it, some people hate it, and um, it's just how you'd like it to be and how it works for you. Um, so we're going to use some um, entity cards and also introduce the gauge card. So uh, bring your home assistant up and uh, go to the uh, Solax energy dashboard that we created. Um, if you've been following me, you'll have a, uh, a home view uh, import rates and then export rates for the um, octopus view if you've been doing that. Um, please do experiment with it. Most of the inbuilt cards are configured using the GUI, the graphical user interface, and you don't need any code, so don't be afraid to, uh, to add things. Go to the top right corner again, we're going to edit that dashboard and we're going to add a new card. And this time it's going to be um, an entities card. So an entities is just a way of listing all the uh, all the um, interesting uh, readouts of the sensors. So click on entities there, and you have an option to add um, as many entities as you would like in a column. So for example, I'm just going to go and type in battery readings, for example. Now there are some examples in here, but you just ignore those. I'm going to add my own. So I, I would like. Um, uh, Solax uh, battery capacity and I'll just pick it from the list there and I'd also like battery temperature and I'll choose that from the list and I'd also like battery voltage that'll be good maybe battery current and um, you can keep going until your heart is content maybe battery power and you get used to uh, what the sensors are called and uh, at any time, if you click save, that'll appear as a new card um, underneath uh, the PowerFlow card there. And you can see that it's uh, live readings. So when you've uh, finished, you can add entities like that in a row. When you've finished, click done and uh, your dashboard is updated. A little tip for the entities card, if we just go into there and re-edit it. Um, if you don't like the names that, of the sensors because they're, they're a little bit technical, you can, you can edit the sensors and give them names that you'd like them to have. So I could call this um, Solax Battery SOC, for example, and then it'll replace it um, in the Entities card. So you can call them friendly names as well, or even take the Solax away if you just want it to be called Battery Temperature and things like that. So you, you can customise the card in any way you wish. So we're all going to try, also going to try the uh, gauge card. Um, the gauge is really good for showing uh, powers of things at the moment. And uh, top right hand corner, edit the dashboard and add a new card. You'll be getting the hang of this. So if you type uh, GA, um, the gauge card will come up. And you can see that it's a kind of a line or a point that, that uh, goes around a dial. So what shall I do for an example? PV power is a good one. So I, I have two arrays and um, I'm going to pick my PV power one and call that PV one power. And you can see that it's a, it updates the, uh, the card on the right hand side there. We've got units of watts and um, I'm going to have a minimum and a maximum of 5,000 because um, that, that's roughly the, the ratings of my panels. So you can have it um, like this or with a needle like that. And you can also um, click uh, boundaries to define severities. So if I said everything up to a thousand watts is green, um, everything 3000 is yellow and four th above 4000 is red. For example, you can uh, color it like that to define the severity of the card and click save. Now, a quick tip, if you've uh, um, decided that you're going to create more than one, you can click on the uh, three dot menu at the bottom right and you can say duplicate card. Okay, and it brings it up and all I need to do is add number two to the end of there and change the name to two and then that will reflect my PV2 power. 
And when you're finished and you're happy with your dashboard, you click the done button and you've got the new look. And it really is that quick and easy um, to add sensors, add gauges and add information. If you don't like them on your main power flow screen, then again, you can edit the dashboard. You can create uh, a new view. We can call it gauges. I don't know, any icon you like. I'm, I'm just doing an example and click save and we've got a new view. And to move them from the home view, we go to the icon here, say move to view, click gauges and select move. And here again, move to view, select gauges and select move. And there we have a new view with our gauges on there. Click done when you're finished. And now you can see you've got your home view with your power flow and battery readings. You've got import rates, export rates, and uh, some PV power gauges. So you really can just create anything that you want to create in any way you like and lay it out any way you like. And when you're finished with the, the uh, inbuilt Home Assistant cards, there are many custom cards out there. And if you get good at it, you can even just write your own and have a completely custom view. Thank you very much for watching. I think this brings us to the end of the uh, basic Home Assistant series. If you're interested in learning more about Home Assistant and what customizations you can make and how to do more advanced things, uh, please watch my next series and um, I'll see you then. Thank you very much. Bye.